Good morning and welcome to the Souls TV Morning Show. I'm Courtney and I have Jimmy joining me today for today's episode. So if you can see here, our episode is going to be about reflective materials. Uh, we have some reflectives here on the table and behind us. But before we get started, let's take a look at Look of the Week. How about that look, Courtney? <laughs> I love this look. Um, the idea of an easy templated design here is what we're going for. So this was submitted by Teresa Deal, Fit to a T LLC in Virginia. So this look is the same, obviously, on both garments, but with some fundamental differences. So we're able to use a template design to switch out details such as the circle or the O in love. So on the left is a school design using what seems to be a mascot and on the right there is a baseball look that has um, not only the baseball as the O and a heart which is fun but the name and number is in there as well. Yeah it's a really cool way to use templates to you know do, use different colors uh, even swap out the uh, the O's for different designs and it's uh, you know really convenient to use those templates. Right, so if you want to submit your look, you can submit it at email by emailing tv at stalls.com. You can share it on Facebook at the show and tell, which happens every Saturday, or on Instagram or Facebook by tagging us at stalls TV. So now it's time for Make It Monday. Yes, let's see if I can compete with that great look of the week on my Make It Monday. Today we have a uh, navy blue cinch bag that's available from Sanmar. Um, pretty much uh, it's a bag like I've never seen before. It actually has a hoodie pocket on it. So uh, that being the case, we have to do, or rather we have to uh, heat apply on a 6x10 uh, platen. I've turned it, um, you know, landscape just so it's a little bit easier, fits a little bit better for our design. Um, just going to feed the garment on here. Um, you'll notice that we do have two sets of seams, but I would worry a little bit more about the hoodie pocket as opposed to the top. This is a fairly um, thin seam right here. As long as you don't get the cinch cords uh, on your heat application plane, you should be fine. Um, our design that we have today is actually going to be three different um, heat transfer materials from stalls. Um, we have a yellow gold glitter flake. We have a Texas orange football and also some foil and adhesive. So we're actually going to be doing a th three different material application. But to save some time, I've trimmed out the football area. And all we're going to do is do the five second tack on all of these applications, peel all of them off, and then we're going to heat apply our foil. <coughs> And I'm going at a relatively light pressure right here, only at about a two or a three for five seconds. <clears throat> go ahead and peel the glitter flake away. Our adhesive product, and then finally the fashion film. Now all we need to do to finish our application is to take our pieces of foil, line them up directly over our adhesive product, and then we will have a finished design. Now I'm gonna need to change my pressure to firm when heat applying the foil. Um, just a quick turn on the fusion here. And now we have a firm pressure, we're heat applying for the full 10 seconds and we are going to have to wait for the foil to cool down. It is a cold peel. Let's take our bag off. Try to cool it down for you guys so we can see the, the full application here. <coughs> 
And there we have our three different heat transfer materials and our foil finish all done on the cinch bag. And there you have it. That's going to be our Make It Monday. for that Make It Monday. I love the idea of having three colors, three different, completely different textures, all in the same garment, metallic, glitter, and the matte finish. So having that all together in one, two simple steps, I think is absolutely great for our customers. Yeah, I mean, the foil application alone is a two-step. So if you can incorporate, um, you know, fashion film and glitter mm -hmm. flake, all in the, you know, two-step application, why not? Can't yeah, beat it. decorators love mixed media. So if you're just joining us today, we're going to be talking about reflective. So reflective heat transfer vinyl, reflective materials. We have a lot of samples here today. Um, so let's jump right into it. So the reflective market can be used in a variety of ways. Um, the main is safety, which we'll talk about first. But there's also, um, and we'll get into this a little bit later, but you can use it for fashion apparel as well as fitness apparel. So. Starting with the basics, what everybody knows fashion apparel for, let's talk about our main heat transfer vinyl. Um, we do have, the reason we're, we're doing this reflective uh, morning show is because Stalls does have a 3M Scotchlight reflective heat transfer material. Mm -hmm. And uh, we actually do have a couple samples to show you here today. Uh, let me see. This would be a good one to start out with. <coughs> we have a long sleeve uh, seems to be a moisture wicking shirt. We do have strips of 3M along here, but we you know, put Sam's construction logo on there. And um, why is this important, Courtney? I think that this is important for a few reasons. So 3M and Reflective in general is a great product and idea to keep people safe. So the, the 3M bands, or the Reflective bands here, match almost identically with the 3M heat transfer vinyl that we have. In combination with the bands, the heat transfer vinyl, and this bright colored shirt, you're definitely going to be seen when you're working on the roadways. So the markets that most normally utilize these include um, paramedics, firefighters, construction workers, and canine units. Um, and here we have an example of a paramedic look. So while this isn't using 3M reflective, this fashion film here pairs well with the garment because it already has this reflective um, ANSI certified bands on the side in combination with that bright, bright yellow. Yeah. And as you stated, our decorators do love mixed media. So that's they a good do. way to use fashion film. Simple add-on, you know, definitely a, a valuable market to look into. Yeah, so with 3M, since this is our um, main reflective material and it's probably the best in, in the stalls marketplace, um, it is ANSI certified, so that means that ANSI certifies these products to be used in America as well as internationally. So these 3M can be used not only on American roadways as a safety retroflective material, but you can also see it across the globe. So it's something that's being standardized in the in the marketplace. Yeah, it's definitely something to you know keep in mind. Um, some of our decorators may be near Canada, Mexico, you never know. There's decorators everywhere. So <laughs> having that international certification is definitely key. Um, so how durable is this 3M? Is it, is it pretty <laughs> tough stuff? Yes, yeah, so it's durable. Um, if you think about the marketplaces that are using this in the safety, um, like I said before, construction workers. So everyone sees them in the summer months with the hot weather. But you never really know what Mother Nature is going to do. So if there's a construction project underway and it's snowing or raining, we need the print to be really durable. So the heat transfer vinyl 3M uh, Scotchlight 5807 is very durable because it has to be. Um, it's thick. It's a lot thicker than a lot of materials on our marketplace. So while you won't normally want to use this on a standard fashion garment, um, it will stick up to the weather waterproof, all of that good stuff. That's very important. I know, uh, you know, the construction workers and road crews, they're, they're out in all the elements, so we need something that's as tough as those guys out there. Mm -hmm. um, as well as the firefighters and paramedics. Yes, can't so. forget those guys either. 
Shout out to Joe Kaczynski. He's uh, <laughs> our local fire guy here. Um, but we do have a canine unit jacket located right here, mm -hmm. and I do believe this is a very important market because we want to keep our four-legged friends safe out there as well as, as well as us, you know. Yeah. So um, I've heard of, you know, people doing reflective vests that they put on their animals, uh, on their collars, uh, even as far as, you know, running a 3M design up the leash. You know, you may not uh, have your 3M shirt, um, you know, laundered. It might be, you know, mixed in with the dirty, dirty laundry. But your your four-legged friend is always safe. You're going to use that same collar, same leash, same vest usually, you know, mm -hmm. when you take them out. So, get those guys safe as well. I absolutely agree. Having having safety on both ends and having that high visibility on both ends is going to be safe. Um, you definitely want to always keep your animals safe. So. It's Speaking of animals, <laughs> dogs specifically, uh, that's a good segue into the Great Dane graphics. Uh, the reason we bring this up is, for example, something like the, the Smithfield uh, Volunteer Fire Department shirt that we have here. Um, very important to the uh, local fire departments. They love shirts. They're always doing benefits, uh, you know, special food drives, you know, donations what have you. Um, so the reason this is important is because Great Dane actually has templated artwork like this design right here that's going to make your life a heck of a lot easier. And uh, you know basically Great Dane you can sign up for a one month, you can do an annual subscription, um, but why is it going to make their life easier Courtney? Well so 3M is a thicker material like I stated earlier but Great Dane specially creates their material, um, sorry, their artwork to fit our materials. So this is um, one continuous weed, one continuous pool. One pool. One pool. So having, um, they, they allow gap spacing and cavities so that you don't have to go in and weed everything. So all everything around here on the outside of the design, you can weed in one pool to make it quick and easy. Obviously, the letters on the inside are additional, but um, they, they make it simple, and they also give you the option to have a more detailed design, but if you're looking for um, maybe a quicker print, or if you're making a lot of these shirts or using the thicker material, using the easier route is definitely a must. Yeah, and Great Dane isn't just limited to, you know, those working with vinyl cutters. They have different segments, so they'll have a screen print segment, they'll have mm -hmm. a print cut machine, a, you know, DTG, vinyl cutting, they have it all. So definitely check out uh, Great Dane Graphics if you need, you know, some graphics for the shop. If you don't have a graphic artist on staff, um, you know, let Great Dane do it for you, but that's excellent stuff right there. Yeah, definitely. So we covered the main material and the main marketplace, which is 3M and these construction and safety markets, but you can also funnel it down and use 3M in different uh, ways in different marketplaces. So safety is number one, but number two is something that I also feel very strongly for, which is athletic or runner and biker safety. So if you're an avid runner, you probably know that it's best to wake up early in the morning, 5 a.m. before the sun's up, and start your run. The only problem with that is um, if you're starting that early, sometimes it's still dark outside, so you're not only on a darker roadway, but possibly mixed in with cars um, of people who could be a little sleepy or tired um, that early in the morning. So you definitely want to not only be vigilant when you're running, um, run towards traffic, but also wear this apparel that will allow you to be safe and be seen no matter where you are. Yeah, I mean, we all have to share the roadways out there, let's face it, you know, whether you're, you know, in a car, motorcycle, if you're running, uh, even cyclists, you yeah. know, that's, a, that's another good way to exercise, uh, you know, make sure you have the reflectors on your wheels, and, um, you know, a lot of these cyclists are actually wearing 3M Reflective to mm -hmm. be safe out there. I've seen, you know, shirts, belts, even wristbands. Um, I was actually just on Pinterest a little while ago and I saw uh, a backpack that had a 3M print all over it. So, you know, maybe you have to take some, some extra gear with you mm -hmm. uh, and it's covering up your design on your shirt. Throw some 3M on the backpack, you know, safety is key. Yeah, definitely. I mean, in addition to um, all of that, 
Nike, I know, and Adidas is making shoes with reflective in them. So having the, the shoes, the backpacks, everything like that, in addition to your apparel, just makes it all that more safe. So while this is typically used for construction workers, segueing it into a more stylish kind of fitness brand is definitely a good thing to do to your customers and creates opportunities in your marketplace. So, I mean, it, to take it even back to fashion, I'm not an avid runner, but um, you know, I had a regular pair of just black Nike shoes mm -hmm. I got last year. And uh, I actually put my initials on the back. I don't have them on, unfortunately. <laughs> I should have worn them to show you guys. But, um, you know, I just threw a little JP on the back uh, with our flex application pad to protect mm -hmm. the, uh, you know, the shoes and no scorch marks at all. And, uh, you know, it's a really cool look. It kind of, you know, you can customize, you know, your shoes if you're at the gym, yeah. you know. It's not, it's not just about safety. We want you guys <laughs> to be safe, but, you know, you can add a little bit of flavor, too. So in addition to t-shirts, we can talk about um, add-on sales, which would be these pants. You want to grab those. Um, so if you are maybe hosting a 5K for a benefit, um, you can bring something like this into your booth, maybe uh, even shorts with a smaller logo on it to do add-on sales, but also you know get the most out of this reflective material, anything that you can put this on. I would suggest doing it. Yeah, I mean, it's it's really cool because, you know, in the normal daylight, just walking around, um, you know, it's going to look silver or even a, like a light gray color. So any color scheme that you can fit that into, you know, mm -hmm. it, it's definitely a good add-on because at night you have, you know, a whole different market. So Yeah, and segueing into even a completely different material with that same idea, we have um, Fashion Reflect. So Fashion Reflect, uh, the naked eye, looks just like a black heat transfer vinyl. If you're wearing this on a shirt, you can see um, that it is maybe fashion forward, gives you a tonal look. But when hit with direct sunlight or headlights, even a camera flash, this material glows. So we have a few examples of those um, in these garments. So you can see like they look completely different from each other, but these are the exact same garments. Um, it's just a matter of lighting. Mm. So the live fit here. Um, it's, a, it's very futuristic. Well, if you didn't mean to interrupt you. Oh Courtney. yeah, you're fine. But um, you know, in the streetwear markets, it's you know excellent because you know it just looks like a tonal look right there. You know hit some light or if you're, you know, if you're in the club, you never know what's going on. You get a little refraction if you're practicing your dance moves there. Um, or but, people are taking pictures. Or even pictures, you know, you can be the, you know, centerpiece of a good picture, you know, with the 3M reflective. Yeah, so you're mixing um, fashion with, with this style almost. So in this example, we have a almost souvenir look. You could probably find something similar to this if you're in a, um, if you're in a, maybe a gift shop in New York City. So that monument on the left just looks like a black tonal look, um, very street, streetwear driven. But on the right, say you are in New York City and you're walking around and headlights hit your shirt, you're able to have that little bit of extra safety in conjunction with that style, which I think is definitely a pro. I mean, I would definitely wear something reflective in New York, nothing against the New Yorkers, but the drivers are fairly scary up there, so, you know. it's, it's always best to be safe no matter where you're at. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So transitioning, um, you can see the, the fitness kind of goes in with the fashion, um, and we're trending a lot toward athleisure looks. So even with this example here, it has a more kind of fashion side to it um, that's going to catch viewers' eyes. Yeah, with the mixed media on here, you can't even tell that this would even be a reflective material. It seems a little bit thicker than the Premium Plus, but, you know, to the naked eye, it's going to look just like a, you know, regular decorated garment. Right, and just to um, clarify really quick, the um, Fashion Reflect doesn't have the same reflective standards as 3M. So the 3M reflective is really what you want to go for when you're working with these safety markets that are going to be on the road. But even if you're just um, trying to be a little safe or if you want to maybe catch someone's eye, a cool party trick would be take a picture of me and, and my shirt's a different mm -hmm. color. But um, so fashion reflect is, is more on the fashion side. And Stalls also carries a product that's um, CAD cut reflective 
which is more thin and economical, but again, doesn't have that same safety aspect to it. Yeah, and, and these markets are huge. It's not just for safety, fire, and EMS. We want to take care of those guys. We, we want to make sure they're safe. But, you know, big companies out there like Nike, Adidas, they're mm -hmm. incorporating it into their shoes, into their, you know, windbreaker jackets. I've seen the whole top half of a, a windbreaker jacket mm -hmm. that's 3M. Uh, I believe Adidas has a new shoe. It's called uh, the Flux Zeno. And uh, they just look like a charcoal gray color, you know, in the in the normal daylight. Yeah. And then as soon as light hits them, they're like an iridescent color. So that's um, really cool. You know, they're th even the big brands are doing huge things with this uh, reflective material. So don't overlook it. It's definitely a, a niche market. Um, and then even like Victoria's Secret, like pink, I've seen, mm -hmm. you know, over, oversized jackets that have 3M on them or the logo is 3M. So, you know, it's not limited just to athletics. It's, you know, fashion, safety. It's very versatile. So definitely look into this, guys. Definitely. So as we're wrapping up today, I just want to check really quick to see if we have any questions coming in. All right. Well, we want to thank you for joining us today on today's episode of The Morning Show. We hope that this has provided you some inspiration. Um, and maybe some different markets that you weren't previously looking at, but you can now. So we hope to see you next week, and thanks for watching. Thanks.